Today I will show you how to use biometric with react natives new architecture using turbo modules. So first I have created a bare bones uh, react native project and to enable react uh, to enable uh, the new architecture first I will go to creating a new architecture docs. I will also show you few other useful links as well. So just a second this should be useful to you and this should be useful to you now i will go back to the new document i will go back to the doc documentation for enabling the new architecture so for android you have to search for new arc enabled so i will search for new arc enabled go to gradle dot properties and make this as true next for ios i will first cd to ios directory and then run this command after running this command you might face two two issues first is this issue if you face something like this you have to cd back to your root uh, directory that is your react native project and then run this command then again cd back to your ios directory and try running this command if it again fails then you might be facing this issue i already have a video on my channel uh, explaining in depth but you might want to have a look at this stack overflow post one of the uh, one of the solution could be by running this command it might solve your issue or you might want to check out other answers as well so once uh, this uh, command runs successfully you can run yarn ios or yarn android and in the metro bundler you should see something uh, as fabric colon true which means uh, the new architecture has been enabled for your app then go to turbo native modules and here it, it they specify that create a folder outside your uh, root uh, root of your react native project but according to me it is incorrect you should create it inside your uh, react native project otherwise you will face a lot of issues so create it inside so and name it as something like uh, this uh, rtn my biometric and inside that create uh, three folders android ios and js forget about the generated folder for now so inside the js folder go to uh, inside the js folder create a fo uh, file typescript file called native bio my 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 biometric sorry so again the file naming is important it should be dependent on your folder name so my folder name is rtn biometric and accordingly my uh, typescript file name will be native my biometric so here you can see it is native calculator in the documentation and I have copied everything from the documentation only thing that has been changed uh, is this the file name and I have added two methods the first one is I want to fetch all the available biometrics which are present in a device so in some devices have fingerprints some devices have face uh, biometrics some de some Android devices have both uh, which is kind of confusing so I have uh, defined one de one method to get the available biometric and second one is for authentication okay next what we have to do is we have to create this package.json file the package.json file should not be inside the js folder it should be a sibling again i have copied everything from the documentation only thing that has been changed is this file name this fi file name over here uh, this file name over here and this package name if you want you can change it over here as well not an issue as these are only github links next uh, we have to create the pod spec file so create a pod spec file uh, which is sibling to your package.json again it should not be inside the ios folder and the name is important uh, again copied everything from the documentation only thing that has been changed is this name next i will go to android and create build.grader and this folder structure so i will go to android inside that i will create build.gradle i have copied everything from the documentation only thing that has been changed is i want kotlin instead of java so i have applied applied this plugin for kotlin android and also added the kotlin standard lib and we want biometric right so we need to add this implement uh, external library from android x as well for biometric so this is important next uh, in sr i have created src main java com rtn biometric and created this file my biometric package dot kt and here uh, you for you should copy everything from uh, my file but for now uh, as we have not uh, run the code gen yet 
so for now you should type something like this this should be return null and this should also be return null okay just keep it like this for now i will revert it back and next what you have to do go inside the main android folder and inside that you will find build.gradle add this kotlin version to your main react native project as well just to avoid any issues and add this line as well of class path then go to app build.gradle then apply this kotlin plugin kotlin android plugin and also apply uh, the, so you don't need this like this was for my own debugging but you need this implementation kotlin standard lib okay once that is done so we have already created this we have already created this okay so here you can see they are passing return null next the part of code gen so what you have to do you have to run something of this command but here they have written two dots because their folder is outside the react native project but ours is inside so for in our case we have to run this command yarn add dot slash rtn my biometric okay then once you run this command uh, yarn add you have to do cd dot dot and then run this command this entire command okay in this so here you can see this command the only thing that has been changed is here it should be your project name this should be your project name and on the third line also as my rtn biometric is inside the react native project so first it should be my project name followed by my folder name but in their case they are directly written the folder name because it is outside the react native project okay uh, next what you have to do is okay so this will generate create this generated folder inside your rtn biometric this is code gen for ios next code gen, uh, okay so now we are writing going to write the code for ios so i will be using swift so this ios folder will be empty so what you have to do is open this ios folder inside xcode i will close everything else so go to ios open the folder inside xcode first you have to add uh, this file rtn my biometric dot h i have copied everything from the documentation only thing that has been changed is i have added this line this is necessary for using biometric on ios and the this file name has been changed this file name has been changed that's it next i have created an objective c++ file so in xcode you have to create an objective c file but once that file is created do make sure you change the extension to .mm and not and not just .m if you just created .m you will face issues just create this file for now next we have to create a swift file create this swift file and once you create it xcode will ask you do you want to create a bridging header as well click on yes and it will automatically create this file for you okay so this is like communication from swift to objective c plus plus now again i have copied everything from the documentation over here the only thing that has been changed is this has been added so that swift can communicate with objective c plus plus and vice versa so this should be your uh you know bridging headers first thing so this only the this part this part followed by dash swift dot h okay next again i have imported the header copied this copied from the documentation here we are creating uh, the uh, object of your swift file uh, then this has been copied from documentation only thing changed is this file name uh next uh, here okay so this authenticate method uh what it will do is that it will uh, uh you know show you the biometric prompt so if your ios device has a biometric prompt suppose face uh, face id then it will uh, uh show you the pop-up for face id i will show you a video about it later but i have written this code everything in objective c plus plus and not use swift for it the reason why is that because so this uh, like i have copied this code from stack overflow okay so basically what it does is that uh, it ch checks whether there is an uh, uh, face id or not if there is some error then i am returning false if uh, uh, if it is successful then i am returning true otherwise all cases are false okay even i don't understand much of objective c plus plus 
but the reason uh, like i do have code for it in swift as well i will show you but the reason is that uh, i was facing lot of issues in swift while sending data from swift to object to c++ because uh, like there is something called the completion handler in swift and which was causing a lot of issues for sending returning data from swift to object to c++ so i can show you so i have tried something like this so here you can see that returning this thing is becoming very difficult because this is uh, inside a task like even i don't have much knowledge of swift but this is i think kind of like asynchronous like async await kind of thing and you can't really return data from it something like that and also there another method which i tried was using this same thing but i was here using completion handler so this completion handler which i was using but again this was causing a lot of issues because objective c++ does not have the concept of completion handler okay but there is another method so this is for authentication right biometric authentic but to get the available biometrics i have created this uh, implementation details in swift so here you can see i am calling the get available met available biometric from my swift file and it returns a string and whatever the string has been written whether it is a fingerprint or face i am returning that re i am resolving it otherwise i am rejecting it as a failure so here you can see go to the swift file and uh, you just have to write this method and this method okay so i have just written this and basically it checks whether what kind of fingerprint or face uh, id which you have uh, so yeah that's it for ios okay yeah one more thing for ios which you have to write is go to your info.plist file and you have to write this line also for android you have to go to app src main android manifest.xml and you have to write this line next you have to uh, do code gen for android so you can if you want you can run this command again so i will show you this is the command if you want you can run from the root of your react native project then you have to cd to your android folder and run this okay the main android folder once you run this it will generate a code gen and you can see this inside the node module so inside node modules you can find something like rtn my biometric and inside android you would have all the files now we will generate all the kotlin files for this so go to your android folder now inside i am inside the rtn my biometric huh? and not the main android folder src and we have already created my biometric package.kt now instead of returning null you can copy paste this code okay again i have copied this from documentation only file name has been changed and java file has been converted to kotlin and inside by my my biometric module here also i have copied everything from documentation only java file code has been converted to kotlin and uh, file name has been changed appropriately and this is the logic for uh, you know uh, getting the available biometrics so this is the logic so here like again i have copy pasted everything from documentation so here you can check okay uh, the, there is a feature of fingerprint then i am returning fingerprint there is a feature of face then i am returning face then uh, again fingerprint face okay and the api differs from whether it is hdk greater than equal to 29 hdk greater than equal to 23 okay uh, and uh, this is uh, the method for uh, authenticating via fingerprint so again i have copy pasted this from the documentation uh, so which you can see i am returning a bunch of errors and if there is success then i am calling the login method inside that login method again copied everything from documentation so this basically does uh, you know authentication and you have to write this as well don't worry about the source code i have i will attach the source code in the video's description so yeah next what you have to do is so we have created all this file next again run this command so go to the root of your uh, react native project and run this command and for ios you have to do cd ios and run this command so it will generate a pod of your uh, you know pod for your ios project to use once that is done I, I, at least i think uh, actually we should have run this command uh, before creating 
uh, all the files in xcode i think you would be facing lot of issues but as soon as you run this command you, all those issues would be gone but make sure xcode is closed while you run this command next uh, to use it what you have to do is go to your app.tsx you can import it something like this then inside the touchable open i have created two buttons so first is for getting the available biometric and if i find any biometric i am displaying it on the text element and second touchable opacity is uh, for authenticating okay now i will show you how it looks on android okay so here you can see so for android emulator first you have to enable fingerprint you can go to settings and enable fingerprint as well otherwise this won't work so i have already enabled uh, fingerprint by, by going to the settings now i'm clicking get available fingerprints you can see biometrics are fingerprint now i'm clicking authenticate locally see i'm authenticating my fingerprint and now i'm clicking on touch sensor i will click on touch sensor so see that is authenticated as well as on the console you can see is authenticated true now same for ios as, as well i will show you so for ios first you have to as soon as the simulator is open you, there would be a uh, at the top there would be something called features you have to click on that and there would be something called face id and you have to enroll in that face id first otherwise or you can test it on a real device and enable face id make sure you have enrolled in your face id so i have clicked on get available biometrics and the biometric surface now i will create authenticate locally it will show me this prompt now again i have to click on features then face id and i have to click on matching face once i click on matching face i get is authenticated true i will try it again and i will do not matching face uh, yeah not matching face and it will show an uh, face not recognized okay so yeah that's it for biometric uh, if you have uh, any more uh, request if you want me to cover any new feature or any existing feature or any library which does not support react native architecture put down in your put in the comments below and i will more than happy to help you out uh, thank you for watching bye